Hey, what's going on guys? A little bit of a different intro to this video today because I want to quickly talk to you about something before our actual class starts. And that's about making mistakes. We all make mistakes all the time. Sometimes though, it seems like teachers never make mistakes. Not the case, my friends. In the video you're about to see, you will see that I've posted a date of 10-3-20 up on the board for the entire lesson. It is certainly not still October. It is November, and it is 11-3-2020. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to take this, put a big old circle around it, cross that puppy out, because in the video you're about to see, while it says it's 10-3, it is not. It is November 3rd, which is 11-3-2020. We all make mistakes. All right, let's get to work. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Global Studies Class with Mr. Wekba. It is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. And if you don't know, that means it's Election Day. Now you know. Today, we are going to talk about Election Day quite a bit. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at our agenda. First and foremost, we're going to talk about last class. After that, we'll talk about Election Day. Like I said, I'll give you your assignment and an attendance question. And you'll be out the dough. So first and foremost, let me start by saying this. Last class, we talked about uh, my fake argument. And I just want to let you guys know how great of a job you did. If you were one of the people who handed, that, handed in that assignment, you crushed it. You guys told me exactly what I did wrong. You made me feel very happy. As a teacher, I was very, very happy. Uh, I am thrilled to have each and every one of you in my class. You guys did such a great job. You made me feel good about myself. I know that I'm teaching and you're getting it. So great job. All right. That's it for last class. Just you guys did a great job. Now for today, election day, <clears throat> it is something that happens quite a bit, but it's a uh, very important that we talk about. So we're going to take a break from global, just push it all aside and talk about election day. So go ahead, get a piece of paper and a pencil. We'll pause it for you or you'll pause it for me. And I'll still be here when you get back if you need to. Uh, but we're going to talk about election day today. First and foremost, today is a presidential election. Now, a presidential election and a general election are similar but different. Let's talk about a presidential election. First of all, since that is today, a presidential election happens every so often. And that is once every four years. It always happens every four years because a president can only run for a four-year term. Now, they can run for two of those terms, but no matter what, they only get four years for each, or if they only get one and don't get reelected, it's four years. So a presidential election has to happen every four years. A presidential election falls on what is called a general election. A general election is very similar, although this only happens every two years. So it's actually more frequent. Every two years we have a general election. Now this is to help get members of another part of our government jobs uh, in the legislative branch. We have members of the Senate and the House of Representatives who are up for election in these time frames. So every two years you'll have a general election. And then every other one of those, which would be every four years, you have a presidential election. And that's what we have today. Those elections are always held on a crazy date. Let's see if we can get this whole thing down here. It happens on the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November on even numbered years. That means 2000, 
2002, 2004, 6, 8, 10, 12. That's when we have general elections. The presidential elections are a little bit different. They're on some of those days, but they skip one, like I said. So now we have 2020. Our next one will be in 2024. The one before this was 2016, 2012, 2008, 2004, 2000, because they happen every four years. <clears throat> a key thing about Election Day for the President of the United States is this. Whoever wins the election today or tonight or maybe even tomorrow doesn't start working tonight or tomorrow. They don't, let me rephrase that, they don't become president right away. They become what's called the president elect, meaning they were elected president. And they don't become actually the president until January 20th, which is called Inauguration Day. And that's when they start their presidential duties as president. Now, this whole time from November up until January 20th, they'll still be doing presidential things, working with the outgoing president, if there is one, um, and kind of figuring out what's going on, getting briefings and learning about what's happening and what they need to know so that they're ready on January 20th, Inauguration Day. Now, this is a very brief, brief, brief uh, <clears throat> summary of Election Day. And as I'm looking at it, I realize there's also one thing I forgot to tell you. It doesn't come to, there are two types of votes when it comes to Election Day. There's the popular vote, which is the total number of all the people that voted. A lot of votes. We're talking millions and millions of votes. And that really doesn't have any matter on who wins the presidency. What matters is something called the electoral vote. And maybe this is something you've heard of. They've talked about it a lot this year during these campaigns. The Electoral College is a group of people who basically vote for you depending on how many people in your state voted for a certain candidate. All you need to know about the electoral vote is that each state has a different number. You get more uh, if you have a larger population. So the number you have would be higher in California or New York or Texas. States with a lot of people have a higher number. If you win that state as somebody running for president, you get those votes and the first person to get to 270 electoral votes wins. You win once you get to 270. Nothing else matters after that. If you get to 270, you win. So you're going to need a lot of states to do that. But if you get to that number, you become the president-elect and soon become the president. Now, for today's class, it's kind of a bummer that this whole COVID thing has taken place and we're doing distance learning. Because today, it's be one of those days where I'd turn off the lights, throw up the laptop, and project onto the screen nothing but news. And we just watch TV all class long and see what was going on. That's kind of what I want you to do today, all right? For your assignment today, <clears throat> I want you to basically create, think of it like a diary. But instead of a diary that you write in every single day, it's a diary that I want you to write in every single hour, 30 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour, whatever you choose. But I want you to do one thing before you do that. You're going to take a look at the news. You can watch it on TV. You can take a look at it on your phone. You can buy a news, don't buy a newspaper because there's not going to be any coverage. But basically go to a news outlet or a news organization, whether it's on TV or the internet, on your laptop or on your phone. And I want you to check in and see what's happening with the election. And just tell me the time that you checked in and what's happening. Maybe there's no new news. But let's say, for example, we'll go over here. You start your assignment at noon. So in your diary for your assignment, you will put noon. Well, at noon, um, not many votes. All right, a lot of people are working. They probably, maybe there's a lot of early voting, so we don't have a lot of results. Then next at 1 o'clock, maybe there was some kind of news or some late-breaking story saying, hey, 
it looks like the state of, I don't know, Maine, that's the abbreviation for Maine, is going to go to Joe Biden. And basically, just tell me what the news is telling you every time you check in. You don't have to do a lot of sentences for when you check in. Just do one sentence, maybe two if you need to. But just explain to me what's going on and give me a little ticker of what's happening. And maybe, if we're lucky, you'll be able to watch and check in when we declare a winner. Now, going back to why COVID sucks again, because we may not have a winner. This might be the first election day in a long, long time where we don't have the results tonight. Normally, the results get in about 10 o'clock p.m. our time, midnight, 1 o'clock Eastern. That might not be the case today because so many people have had to vote early. So many people have voted by absentee ballot. And there's not a lot of poll workers as there normally are because of coronavirus. So that might be something you can put in your diary, too. Uh, maybe there's a late-breaking story that says, hey, there's not going to be an, elect or an election winner announced until tomorrow. Put that in there. But that's going to be your assignment. I want you to create an hourly news diary and send it to me. Again, it just has to give me the time and what's happening at that point in time of today. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. That will also serve as your attendance question today. So basically, just get it to me. You can do it all day long. You can wait until later in the night. Um, I suggest waiting until later in the night to start this. Those of you watching this video early, you can still check in and see what's going on in the news right now. But hopefully, there's going to be some exciting news today, and you'll be checking in on it, and you may be one of the first to know. Hope you guys have a great election day. We will see you on Thursday to hopefully wrap up this election segment and talk about who our president is. Take care.